Hello there. In this video, we're going to go over quartz, what it's used for, and where we can find it. So let's just start straight up here with where you can find quartz. Quartz is generally find, found in this big ice area as either single nodes or in clusters like this. Quartz is used for making circuit boards, which is used for two things mainly, building buildings like the electric furnace and also Jet Dragon's missile launchers. So not really something you're going to be using a whole ton of and i don't really recommend setting some aside to build a mining base you can usually get off by mining it manually but if they change things in the future getting a mining base might be beneficial to you so we're going to go over some of the best locations to get pure quartz and this one right here is probably the best one it has a bunch of nodes a total of nine as you can see i've already partaken in some but up here it's also raid safe it is a high plateau so if you're going to build a quartz space, this is probably going to be the best bet that, that you have. There's also an ore node that is currently being obscured by a Vumpo. But yeah, a little bit of ore here as well. Location is about minus two, 200 to 250. So pretty simple to get to. It's between the Untouchable Lake and the Pristine Snowfield. With that said, we are going to go over some of the other locations. But this is probably the one I recommend the most, both for farming and also for potentially building a base. Our second location isn't that far off the first one. It's also fairly raid safe, but uh, it does have, I believe, one entrance. Nope, it's blocked off. So pretty much raid safe. Could have raids coming from above, I guess. But yeah, another potentially good spot. It's very bumpy, though, so do keep that in mind. It's right here, down by minus 260, 389. And it's another spot where you can farm. It's uh, very close to some of the other TPs here. So if you want to farm manually, you can do that. The third spot here is uh, pretty far out compared to the others. It's also very vulnerable to attacks. And as you can see, it's pretty close to where for Italian lives. It's uh, minus 420, 460. Let's head to the next one. The next location here is probably one of the more inaccessible ones because it has the nodes kind of scattered about. There's also hostile mobs nearby. No real way to defend. And it's probably going to be mostly just annoying, but it is up here. The opposite side of Stallion. Pretty close to land of absolute zero. You find a minus 300, 550. So it should be pretty straightforward to find. And also, as I said, you can go from up there, fly down, then teleport uh, once you've farmed your, well, quartz. The next spot here can be found at minus 146 to 587. It's kind of all way out of the reach. There are a few nodes here, but also there is indeed a skill tree. So it's not the worst place to go to the farm quartz. You can pick up skills and at the same time farm your nodes, then head home. That does kind of work out in your favor. There is also lore over here. So this could be a very, very good place to farm quartz, but you might struggle with TPs. So having a fast mount would be beneficial. That is it, however. That is all of the quartz places that I have found. There might be more in this uh, icy kingdom. But these ones have done it for me, and I hope they'll do it for you too. If this video has helped you, please like and subscribe as that helps me out a ton. And I'll be making more PAL World guides and uh, tips and tricks in the future. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.